And we're back. Uh, not quite back to back as I had intended. Uh, I went ahead and went to sleep and then I'm uploading this this, well, just afternoon, morning, something. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's not, uh, anyway, new day, rain is finally over, which is fantastic. As much as I love when they added rain, I can't stand the rain. It's so loud. And if you live somewhere rainy, which is where apparently where I'm at, well, everywhere is technically rainy because it can rain anywhere. And even I think it rains in the deserts now. It's like really busted, broken the way it shouldn't be that way. But I don't know. What the hell was that? Okay, that's new. <laughs> I've been playing so long in the last, you know couple months of updates I haven't experienced, haven't been playing in so long, so, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly, I'm just, I suppose eventually I want to play through, like, to the end of the game, like, literally the end, the zone is called the end, so that should be, uh, interesting. And, uh, kill me a dragon. So I guess I'll work towards that. It'll be like a goal. And I'll have something to do. Because just building is, um, well, building is building. And it's not productive. It's, well, it is productive because you're building something. But, I mean, it's, I'm rambling. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, let's get back to a little more interesting commentary. I've, um been putting a lot of hours into Skyrim and uh, I'm on my like I guess fifth eighth twelfth I don't know how many times I've started over now and um, the very first time I play an RPG I'll generally start it up normal play through a while and eventually I get to that point where I'm tired of the mechanism of how the game just sort of forces you to drudge through things. Um, Elder Scrolls is a little better. It's very less drudgy compared to some games. Uh, the leveling up system is rather quick. But then the enemies still sort of scale to your level. And unless you have like insanely epic gear or you exploit the system, it's just not easy. I mean, it is easy. I mean, I'm... I remember being a little kid and like owning the crap out of like Mega Man and Mario and I go back to play these original NES games now and they just tear me up and I don't know if I've gotten slower in my responses or maybe it's just because my hands are bigger that I can't do consoles as well as I used to but I just don't have that in me anymore that, that quick I don't want to deal with the bullshit challenges of a video game I just want to play it and have fun that's what I want out of the video game. I want to play it. And I want to have fun. And so I cheat. I cheat my ass off. And so now I'm playing Skyrim. And I just immediately give myself all the levels, all the skills, everything maxed. Screw it. I just want to play for the experience and the... Um, I want the content because I like content in games, not challenge. I'm not one of them challenge guys. Some people strive on challenge. I don't. Challenge doesn't entertain me. You know, challenge is just annoying. It keeps me from my entertainment instead of providing me with it. Uh, I suppose if I was one of those people that like played sports or had an interest in sports, challenge would probably be different in the way I think about things. And I think that's a big portion of it. It's like I was never a sports-loving kind of person. So the idea of being sport-inclined, uh, or not being sport-inclined, I should say, Dang it. Um, it. It probably hinders me in that regard. Like, I don't have that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll enjoy a good sports game. Like, I'll watch football or baseball. or I still can't quite enjoy basketball. It's, it's, I think it's too quick for me. Like, it's just, it, it happens so fast. It's one, dribble, 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 shoot, shoot, dribble, exchange, stolen passes. It's a very fast sport compared to, like, football which has its set you know quarters and 
baseball, which is very slow. Baseball is an extremely slow sport. <laughs> like, ridiculously so. Like, I've never seen a sport so slow. And, um... So... I'm totally going off on a weird tangent here. I was trying to talk about Skyrim. Point is, I don't play for the challenge. I play for the content. And so I'm going around doing quests. And... Of course, they're not hard because I'm like super powered omnipotent character wise you know and um i just want to complete a lot of quests i want to get through this all the potential quests you have access to and um play them and there's a a marriage feature in the new elder scrolls that wasn't in the last ones and um when you get married you have attendees of people that you've influenced or encountered that are befriended to you in the game so it's like I'm going around and purposely doing as many quests as I possibly can and completing as much and befriending as many people as possible just because I want to get married to one of the NPCs and have a massive attendee at, uh, count at my wedding. <laughs> Ooh, growing nicely. Yay! I'll have bread soon. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm doing with my time. <laughs> I think I've spent like the last three or four days doing quests. Uh, pretty much, I think I started on Christmas, or it might have been the day the day before Christmas Eve, and I was doing a lot of questing, and I've, I've completed most of the major cities. There's like, there's five major cities in the game, and four minor cities, and then there's like a handful of little villages that have like two or three buildings. And I still need to hit those up, too, because they've all got at least one quest in them of some kind. And I don't even know if those people will attend, but I figured, knock it out anyways. I, w I mean, I want this event to be standing room only, you know? <laughs> it's, like, crowded up with, like, nobles and thieves and cut purses and murderers and, <laughs> and all sorts of weird characters that, like, you wouldn't expect to be at one place at one time. I just want to see how many people will assemble. How many people can I get there? Just to know. I mean, I want to know who, who all goes and how many can I have. And I'm sure I can, like, look that up. Someone's probably already found out who all is capable of attending. But that's not as much fun as finding out yourself, you know. So, I'm going to do it myself and find out. And then we'll see what happens from there. Ah. I'm just collecting me some resources. I need to make a... I want to make a cattle pen... Uh, so I can start, once I get some wheat, I can start breeding me some cows and getting me some leather and and uh, recurring meat supplies. Because uh, you can feed the cows. If you get uh, a couple cows together and you use, I guess, wheat makes them happy. You can use wheat to pull them towards you too. Like uh, you're holding your hand, I think. I don't know if you have to feed it to them or not. I'll find out when I get to that point. And uh, whenever I get around to getting that to happen, you'll see when I find out, because you'll be there. Well, you'll be there after I upload it. <laughs> but we'll see what all can be done. So, yeah, I, I like it. I like finding stuff. I'm a big fan of the explore factor in a video game. And learning stuff yourself is very rewarding. You know, because anybody can go and jump on Game Facts or a wiki site and instantly find out anything they want to know about a game nowadays. I mean, usually within like within days of its release, there's rarely ever ever something you don't know anymore about a game, unless it's like a truly massive game the way uh, Elder Scrolls is. Did you guys just see that glitch? What was that? It must have been like a recording error. Um, it was so ugly. Oh, yay, seats. And, um, you know, it's just old school RPGs, like the original, I say RPG, JRPGs as they're referred to now, traditional Japanese style RPG, had a big reward for exploring. Like, there's little nooks and crannies and things you could find and secret ultimate weapons and so I miss that. It's not the same in modern games anymore. 
sure there's a method to it, but there's just... It's made a little too stupid, a little too simple. Like, even in Skyrim, you know, it's got that, uh, that wow flashing icon locator arrow option that tells you where to go and this is your quest objective and, you know, how to get from point A to point B. And in some ways I appreciate it because it would just take forever if you didn't know where to go. Like, Oblivion, uh, Oblivion, uh, Morrowind did not have that feature at all. And you would get these, like, rough estimates like they would say yeah, go to this city take this road out and friggin you know walk till you see sudden such big stone and then take a left kind of deal <laughs> and it was very like uh what <laughs> kind of a moment and um so it, it really had that you know how's this gonna work kind of scenario to it so well, looks like I'm out of time, so I will see you next time, and we will continue this right where I left off. So, see you then. Adios, adieu, sayonara, all that jazz. And, um, it's getting dark. I love the music.